Walter's Kluwer India eLibrary is an ebooks platform which has the most updated content relevant as per Indian medical curriculum. This website is loaded with many handy features to help you get the most out of these books. India eLibrary comes with Android and iOS apps that allow students to download and access content both online and offline, around the clock. In this video guide, we will show you how to create a personal account inside the Common University account and how to access an ebook. Let's begin. Enter the Common University or Institute user ID and password provided to you by our administrator. Use the search bar to find your ebook. You can type the name of the book or just use the keywords. Click on the book to open it. Here you can access the book with limited features like table of contents, zoom tool, find tool, and page layout settings. We will get into the details of these features in a while, but first, let's learn how to make a personal account inside the university account to unlock all the features. By creating personal accounts, users can access offline content through mobile apps. Go back to the bookshelf by pressing the bookshelf tab. Here, click on the register button and enter your personal details to create a personal account. Great, now you are inside your personal account. Let's search for the same title and click on the ebook. Once you click on the ebook, you will see multiple options next to it. Let's go through each of them. Read online button to start reading the book straight away. The next button is add to shelf, which adds the book to any new or existing bookshelf. The shelf is your personal library where you can add your books for easy access later. To add the book in your shelf, just click on Add to Shelf, type the name of your shelf, and then press Add. Next is the Favorite button. Clicking on it will make it appear in your favorite list. You can also share the ebook with other students by typing their username and pressing the Share button. Let's open the book. You can simply click on the Read Online button as previously shown. But just as an example, I will access it through the bookshelf. Look at the top right corner. Go to the Bookshelf tab, click on the appropriate shelf, and scroll to select the book you wish to read. Once you open the ebook, you can click on the Expand button to access the Table of Contents, your notes, and bookmarks. Under the Table of Contents section, you find the list of chapters, which you can access by clicking on each. You can also search for the chapters in the Table search bar using keywords. Now let's look at the reading tools on the top right side of the ebook window. The first one is the section tool. Select the text you wish to highlight or copy it to the notes section. Just select any of the options. Let's highlight it first with a color. You can also add it to the notes section here. Click on the notes tab and give it a title. The bookmark tool. Bookmark the pages for quick access later. On clicking bookmark, Select whether you want to bookmark the left, right, or both the pages. The third in line is the Zoom tool. Click on the appropriate option to zoom in or out as per your convenience. You can also use Custom Zoom option to slide it to your convenient size. The Find tool is just like a search bar. You can look up for any words in the chapter or book. Just type in the word and find all the places where the word appears. The setting tool can be used to orient the book on the left or right direction. This can be helpful when you are showing a content printed in landscape format to your students. You can also select the appropriate page layout like single page, double page, single continuous, and double continuous pages. Now it's time to see how you can access your notes and bookmarks. Go back to the left-hand corner and click the Expand button. Click on the Notebook tab to access your notes and highlighted texts. Click on the arrow pull-down to view the details and page number of your notes. Click the Notes to directly go to the appropriate page. Also, sort your notes by their color, highlights, and date as well. If you wish to delete a note, click on the trash bin. The next tab is the Bookmarks tab 
which show you the pages which you are bookmarked. Click on the bookmarks to access the pages. There is also another way by which you can access your notes and bookmarks directly. Go back to your dashboard. Under the My Activities button, click on My Personalization tab to view all your bookmarks and notes. Just click on any to directly access them. You can also save your notes and bookmark list an Excel sheet by clicking the Export button. Also access your favorite listed books, recent activities, and books shared by your colleagues and students here. We can also provide you the book usage report to the University Institute on a monthly, quarterly, or annual basis. That will tell you how many times the books subscribed by the Institute have been viewed, searched by the users. Hope this video guide was helpful. For any queries, check the FAQs or please mail us at info at lwwindia.co.in. We will address it as soon as possible. Happy reading. Thank you.